feel like I look a little bit weird today. So to God, I just can't make myself look normal. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I have not done a uni vlog in a while. I haven't got a lecture until three today. It's currently like half twelve, so I have left starting this vlog a bit late, but then equally I got up a bit late, so I, I went to the doctors this morning. I've currently got like a tonsil infection. I haven't got a ton I don't think I've got actually tonsillitis, I don't think I've got bacterial tonsillitis. But my left tonsil is like I think you can even see my gland, it's like proper. I don't know, maybe I'm imagining it, but literally my gland here is so big and it really hurts. <laughs> Basically, I've got the flu. So today I'm gonna do a little bit of work. Um, it's still quite close to the start of the semester, so um, I haven't got like loads. Last week we did Jane Austen's Lady Susan, which I loved, I thought it was a really good book. Um, very short as well, it was only 60 pages, so it wasn't a lot to read. This week, they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're also filming a video today with my friend Sarah. If you guys follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you'll realize that. Me and Sarah are with each other all of the time um, and I basically, I was watching before I went to uni the truth about certain news like the videos like the, oh, the truth about Oxford, the truth about Bristol, the truth about la 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 and I thought like I might as well do a sort of review of how uni's been for us so in terms of like degree, nightlife, um, sports, accommodation, everything like how we found it um, about like being completely real with you guys uh, about what it's actually like to study here um, and also I wanted my friend to be in it so that you know it's not just my opinion like it's um, sort of a general like generally how, how it's been Later. So this week I am back in St Albans, back home for the week. I actually have a reading week, so not many subjects um, at Nottingham actually have a reading week. Um, but I'm lucky enough to, obviously we go through a lot of books during term, so I'm very grateful that we have a reading week because it means I have a little bit of time to sort of catch up, go home, sort of recuperate um, and refresh and sort of you know, get ready for the next half of the term because it's very easy to fall behind. Basically, I'm just going to do a couple of vlogs for this week because I figure, you know, I haven't really done that many vlogs um, in St Albans, which is obviously where I'm from. Um, it's where my mum and dad still live and um, obviously I come back here quite a lot. But I've not done many vlogs here. Um, or, well, not, I've only done maybe one, I think. <laughs> Today, I woke up at around eight o'clock, um, had some breakfast, and I got ready for the day. I'm in this sort of, like, maroon eye look today, and I never do this colour, and I feel like it's very, like, ooh, a statement for me, because I never do eyeshadow this dark. But I quite like it. It looks different. It's good to try new things, guys. Um... And then I've just been sort of working all morning. Um, I just filmed a video, uh, which is like sorting your shit out on Sunday. But now for the rest of the morning, I'm, I'm just going to catch up on some um, beginnings of English lectures that I missed. Um, so that's all like medieval English. And um, if you guys have ever watched Merlin, which is like the BBC um, TV series with like, uh, what's that guy? If you ever watched Merlin, if you ever watched Merlin, um, it's basically that. TV series is based on the text that we are studying. It's called Le Mort de Arthur. Um, that's very poor. I'm not going to try and do a French accent because um, I am not French. That was probably really offensive. I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, but yes, we're currently studying that text and I'm just catching up on the lectures that I missed for those. Um, and I'm just doing some of the extra work and extra reading that we need to do for that this morning. And then um, I have also. Um, so once I'm just gonna, so after so now, well, so now I'm just gonna grab myself a coffee and I'm gonna sit down and just sort of plough through that for like an hour, um, and then I will catch back up with you once I've done that. So I've just finished making notes on one of the Le Mort de Arthur lectures, and now I have another one on women in Le Mort de Arthur, which, like I said before, is like the le the Arthurian legends of like King Arthur. You've heard about it, like Camelot and the Round Table and everything. 
um, and I'm just gonna add these notes to these notes um, it'll probably take me about half an hour um, and then I am going to do some reading of not this book of that book there so I have just finished um, my um, I've just finished catching up on the medieval English lectures um, I caught well actually it's middle English let's be precise um, I actually did I read and sort of highlighted this little article um, by Elizabeth Edwards on the place of women in Mordava um, and then I have just completed all of my notes from the lectures and the readings I've put them all together and the seminars and everything um, onto one big document and I've just saved it and put it in a folder and it's very satisfying if I do say so myself um, I now have about half an hour before Abby's coming to me up so I am gonna um, catch up on some of my drama lectures that I have not been to um, on the dolls on a doll's house which I studied at A level I don't know if I I think if you've watched my how to get an A star in English literature video you'll know I studied a doll's house um, so I already know a lot about it um, I probably you know sort of know it to death at this stage but um, obviously uh, we're learning it at degree level now so um, it's sort of more in depth and focuses more on like naturalism and Ibsen um, and comparing him to other practitioners such as like Brecht um, if you don't know what I'm talking about then don't worry just skip this part of the vlog but for those that are interested in what I'm doing this is what I'm doing um the weird thing about our module in drama and performance is that like a lot of it is actual actually practical work like what we did in drama a level which I wasn't even expecting when I came to Nottingham I didn't actually know that obviously I'm quite pleased because um I really enjoy acting and performing and stuff um I've done it ever since I was little I was in like loads of school shows as a kid um and it's quite nice to still be able to sort of exercise that hobby when I can um but obviously a lot of it is still theory we're still like examined for theory it's just that our seminars um are for practical work um and like practical exploration and stuff which is quite disappointing two hours later we went to George Street Canteen which is like a little cafe um in one of like the lanes like smaller lanes of St Albans um we've got a chicken wrap very nice if I do say so myself um, and then we just had like a little look around the shops my friend actually works in Kath Kidson so I bought a few bits from there and I also went to Topshop and Tiger so I'm going to show you some things that I bought basically that was a long introduction for me to say I'm just going to show you some things I bought first thing I got was this little purse now I have a massive pink Fiorelli purse that I basically take everywhere but it takes up so much space in my bag and I just wanted like a small little purse that I could take around with me that wouldn't take up too much room, wasn't too annoying. Um, but also just still was able to store all my cards and stuff. So I got this, it's very cute. I think it was £26, I believe. I also got this little ticket holder. Now, this might seem like a little bit of a random purchase, but basically I always put my cards loose in my little carry-on bag when I go out clubbing with my friends. Um, and I am honestly, infamous for losing my debit card or my id or my student id like i just lose my cards all the time so i figure if i have it in something like this and all together then i'll be less likely to lose it it's sort of chunkier it's you know harder to miss i suppose you lose it and i also just thought it was really cute it's got this like sort of pink floral design on it i also bought this phone case it's got like it's from the cherry happy collection um and it's just for my phone it's this um, sort of cherry design, I just thought it was really cute and I thought it would look really nice on my phone. And then the last thing I got from Cath Kitten was this little mug that's got E on it and then it's got like eggs and soldiers because like E eggs soldiers. I thought that was really cute. Um, and I just, I love collecting mugs. I think they're such a nice little, nice little memento. Um, and yeah, I just it was quite sweet. And then I went to Topshop and I had a gift voucher and student discount. Um, and so I bought this jumper. Oh, can't even find where it starts. I bought this jumper with like a little zip at the front. It's like blue. Um, it's quite baggy because I like my jumpers a bit baggier. Um, it was £22, but I had a £15 voucher and student discount. So I ended up getting it for 4 95 which I was really pleased about. Um, 
and I just thought it'd be really cute for like going to lectures with. Um, it like zips up and down, so depending on how much you want to reveal. Um, final place I went was Tiger, and I just got two things from there. I got this little black notebook that has plain pages on. Um, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but you can never have too many notebooks, in my opinion. <laughs> And then I also got this little fluff ball keyring so that I stop losing my keys. Six hours later. Um, I went to the hairdressers this morning and I got a haircut, got some long layers put in, and I got like a pink toner on my hair. The thing with me is when I do something a little bit, I then want to do it a lot and I want to go a little bit overboard. So basically, I am going to make my hair even more pastel pink than it is right now. And then I'm going to do a really fun pink makeup look to go with it. And we're going to have like a pink aesthetic going on, which I'm very excited about. Now what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using the Bleach London Rose, I suppose it's Rosé, um, semi-permanent hair colour cream. And then we're going to be using the matching shampoos and conditioners, shampoo and conditioner for it. Guys, so I look a little bit crazy right now. Oh, hey everyone, Karma got his kids for me. So this is it dry. Um, obviously, I have not styled it, so it looks a bit weird. Um, not a desirable look just yet. However, I'm going to curl it and do my makeup, and then hopefully it will look like semi normal. <laughs> so I finished curling my hair. Um, put some makeup on. I like it. I like it. Four to six weeks later. So I only have two seminars today uh, in the afternoon. It's currently about nine o'clock. So uh, the reason I'm getting ready so early is I'm thinking about going to the library and just going to smash up some work for a few hours. Um, or I might stay here and do some YouTube stuff. I haven't really decided yet. Um, but I just wanted to get loads of stuff done today. And then tonight I am going out i think uh, my boyfriend's friends are coming down and also um one of my friends in not in this flat and another flat is having like a sort of flat party type thing so i'm going to that i think we should probably talk about the elephant in the room though i have pink hair i know it's very odd um when did this happen basically um i didn't even plan to do it i literally i quite literally woke up one day and went Right, well, I want pink hair today. Um, and I went to go get my hair cut and then I got it toned by my lovely friend Sophie. Um, and I really liked it, but then um, if you know anything about me, you know that um, I do something a little bit and I need to do it like all the way. I don't do anything halfway. So I got some Bleach London dye. I think it was the rose one if anyone's interested. And I literally just like put it all over my hair. And now I have pastel pink hair. And I really like it. I really like it. I think it's very. I've I've never had coloured hair before, so this is new. But I quite like it. I think it's cool. So I've been really busy this week. I, well, I'm currently writing an article um, about YouTube for um, our like university student newspaper magazine thing. Um, it's called Impact. Um, I haven't written anything for it yet. But um, if you guys don't know, I want to be a journalist when I'm older. Um, and I'm planning on doing like a master's in journalism and um, sort of like it is what I want to do when I'm older. So I figure, I sort of figured that I need to get on the ball and actually start like doing some stuff to prepare for that. So I'm getting, getting involved with that. It's quite exciting. <laughs> Attempted to strip the pink out of my hair because I miss my blonde hair, um, and it's still there. Vitamin C tablets and anti dandruff shampoo don't work. Fun fact. Um, however, uh, I just want to end the video here. I am going to do it on my laptop because stress. Please
please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and you want to see more sort of like vlogs, day in the life kind of videos. This has been a mishmash of all the footage I've basically had for the past few weeks. Um, so it's not very, a bit sporadic, one might say. Subscribe if you want to see more of my channel, more of me. Uh, my Instagram and Twitter are both LMA Horson. Um, I'll leave the at on the screen somewhere. You're very welcome to follow me on there if you want to keep up to date on what's going on. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.